Hi everyone! Today I'd like to show you the features of our event planning module. With this module you can schedule your stations for regular monitoring events, create a plan based on what stations are due and what needs to be collected during field activities, as well as close out a plan to ensure that everything that was planned to be collected was in fact done. This module is designed to make planning and tracking field events fast and easy, thereby making the data collected more effective and valuable. <clears throat> we will begin by loading the event planning module. It loads as a tab in the main window. Now let's start with scheduling the stations. This project does not have any yet, so we'll create a new one by selecting the New button. In the dialog that appears, you need to provide a name for your schedule. I'll call this the Spring Schedule. You set the start and end date, and even a reminder if you like. Then I'll select a few stations from the Boreholes Station Group, and select these to be sampled. Now I could, if you wanted, set a reoccurrence similar to the way that you would set a reoccurrence in your Outlook. Once I've saved and closed this schedule, you'll see it in the list of all the schedules for the project. And once I close this dialog, you can see the event is scheduled in the calendar, and when I click on it, you can see all of the stations which are due for sampling. And now we'll create a plan to go to the field and collect the samples. The first step lets you enter some basic information, provide a name, the start date and end date, and some optional information like the field technician, the lab, and who's approving the plan. The next step will have the stations that are due to be sampled already selected for you. This is based on the schedule. But you can add additional stations if you wish. Simply select the station group and add the station. The next step allows you to plan for QAQC samples. Here I'm going to collect at station 2 a duplicate. And now the next step allows you to indicate which parameters will be analyzed when the samples are sent to the lab. It might be convenient to create grouping of parameters which are commonly used. You can do this in our parameter list editor. It's similar to our material specification editor. For this example, I'm going to use the organic chemicals parameter group. If I select the double blue arrow, all the parameters will be selected. By default, the same parameters will be applied to all stations, but you do have the option to designate which parameters will be analyzed individually. If you need, you can also specify to collect additional data while in the field. For example, you might want to collect water level measurements, as well as perhaps temperature and pH. Again, you can apply this to all the stations or individually. And finally, you can create a checklist of things to bring into the field, so the field personnel don't forget anything. Now at the last step, all you need to do is select the Finish button, and this saves your event plan and creates a report for you to take into the field. The report will be generated in Microsoft Word, and it opens up so you can review it. The basic plan information is in the header, and the first page is a summary, including the list of stations that need to be sampled and their coordinates, as well as the checklist of things to bring. Thereafter, each station has its own page with details like the parameters that are to be analyzed for that sample, if a QAQC sample needs to be taken at that station, as well as any additional data that needs to be collected while in the field. Once you've reviewed the report, you can print it off and give it to your field personnel. And now for the last step, closing of the plan. This confirms that everything in the plan was collected. So let's select the plan, the spring schedule, 
and you'll see the basic information that was entered. On the next step, you need to indicate if everything was collected. <clears throat> Here's everything scheduled for that plan. If there were no problems, you can simply select all, and everything will be checked off. However, we often find things do not go as planned when you're in the field. So if a station, a QAQC sample, or some data was not collected, a comment needs to be entered. Here, for example, if the field personnel were unable to get to station number four, I uncheck it and then I provide a reason in the comment field. And I'll just copy that through for the other information to be collected. Now in the last step, you have an option to reschedule any missed stations. This allows you to go back and make a new event plan to collect samples from a station number four. Otherwise, you can provide some comments and then select the Acknowledge button. And then simply select Finish to close out this Spring 2013 event plan. You can see all the plans for the project by selecting the Manage Plans icon. Here you have the option to reprint the plan if needed and even reopen it if necessary. I hope you find the event planning module useful to better track and organize your field activities. Thank you for your time.